Extreme 3D Hershey's Chocolate Syrup Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you an Extreme 3D Hershey's Syrup bottle. So this one is, it's a little uh, Hershey's Syrup bottle that you just make on a piece of wire. And then you attach the wire to the nail and then it looks like there's Hershey's Syrup pouring out of it. This is very similar and kind of inspired by, I've seen a whole bunch of cakes that you've taken a bottle of Hershey syrup or a can of Diet Coke or whatever it is that you want and you put a dowel in it and then you stick it into the cake and then it looks like whatever it is is pouring all over the cake. So that's kind of where this idea came from because I also, I do some cake decorating so I was looking at some of those cakes and I was like, hey, I could do that on a nail. So that's what this is and it is done with acrylic and gel. There's kind of a, kind of a combo one for this nail. And it kind of reminds me of a teapot that I made that was pouring into a little teacup about a year ago, almost a year ago exactly. So I kind of had like this, I don't know, I was looking back through old videos, I was like, hey, I can definitely do this with Hershey syrup and I just thought it would be really cute. So that's what today's video is. I hope you guys like it and don't forget to click subscribe, see all my future videos as well. So to begin with, I just wanted the background of the nail to be completely clear, so I started with an overlay over the top of a clear nail tip of clear acrylic. And so since this nail is pretty long, um, you know, I just did it in a couple beads, trying to make sure that I am making this nail thick enough that it is going to support everything that is happening on top of it. And the one thing I do want to mention with this one is that yes, this nail could be absolutely just about any length and any shape. It doesn't really matter for that at all because just as long as there's a little bit of free edge for the wire to go into so you can drill a hole in, that's all you need. So even the length of my natural nails as they are in the video is plenty long enough to make this design. So now I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file and just making sure that there's no lumps, bumps, and imperfections. And then I did start with the coarse bit and then I'm moving on to a much finer bit tree just to make the surface really smooth. Then using a really pointy bit, I'm going to be creating a hole in the nail that is approximately the same size as my wire. Then applying a layer of gel sealer and putting that into my lamp to cure. So now on a nail form backing with brown acrylic, I'm going to be doing the first layer of the Hershey syrup bottle. So like I said, the first layer, because this is actually made up of several layers to get it to be thick enough. And so the first layer is very thin. It's potato chip thin. Um, just to make it, I'm just getting the outside shape down and I want I'm going to be adding a piece of wire in after this is set and I want that to be fairly close to the center of the bottle. So you don't want this to be too thick. You just, you're just doing a, just, just to get the shape of it down, just to get that outside shape. So I am looking at a bottle of Hershey syrup. I have an actual bottle sitting, um, not right next to me. So it's not close to the chemicals, but you know, close enough that I'm looking at it as I'm doing this and I'm making sure that I got, because I've got the, you know, the shape of the cap and I'm not actually making the cap the top cap on it so you want it to be open and to do that right next to this bottle i am making just a little circle of brown acrylic that is going to be about the same size around as i want the bottle to be in the end so just make your little your little bottle cap next door and just let that set there until you're ready for it you're not gonna actually need that for a little while but might as well make it while you've got everything out right here so then after that has set you can pop it off the nail form backings to just peel right off and then glue a piece of wire onto the back make sure that your wire is bendable but still hardy enough or sturdy enough that it's not going to just bend on its own and it will be strong enough to support the weight of the hershey syrup bottle so now to build up that thickness that you really want so that your bottle doesn't look like it's just thin and you know, you want to have the thickness of an actual bottle. Just keep adding layers. So I had one layer, a layer to one side, and then I'll just flip it over and add a layer to the other side. Now, as you're doing this, you don't really have to worry about any sort of details on the bottle. The bottle is very, very simple, just as long as you have that outside shape. I did add one extra 3D layer, and you'll see that at the end for, right, there's like a band around the cap that's a little bit thicker where it fits around the bottle where it screws on where the threads are inside. Uh, but that's not quite not quite happening yet. So at this point, just keep building it up and kind of look at it from the side view to try to see if it's, you know, if it's straight looking because, you know, every once in a while you might be looking at it, it's like, oh, this ends up looking a little bit crooked. So just keep looking at it side to side, make sure that it does look like it's going to have the right shape and the right kind of rounded. You want it to be a little bit rounded. And so just keep looking at it back and forth. You know, the more that you, the more acrylic that you add is fine. If you end up with an area that got too thick, you can always remove it. And then I like to add a little bit of acrylic down the edges because you're adding acrylic back and forth. So then you end up with these, you can see the different layers when if you look at them from the side. Just add a bead going down and smoothing over that side edge, just like that. And then, like I said, I'm gonna be adding that one band of acrylic going around basically where the cap is. So I just place that down and I'm just gonna be smoothing it around a circle just around the very top of the bottle, leaving just a little gap 
above it. So where that wire is coming out, that is going to be where your syrup is pouring. So make sure that your wire is coming out of the top of the bottle, not the bottom of the bottle. If it comes out the bottom of the bottle, then you know, you've got a hole in your bottle if there's something coming out of it. So make sure that it is coming out the top of the bottle. And then um, you want it to be as close to the center as you can, which is why you put that in there pretty much from the beginning so that as you're building it up back and forth from side to side, it is going to hopefully be centered or close to centered. So then after you have all of that, you're going to taste a little bit of nail glue. I had a little too much. My nail glue decided to work for once and it just poured all over and then hold your little your little bottle cap that you made on the nail form backing earlier onto it and then secure it in place after it's dried with a little bit more clear acrylic. Then I took a file and I'm just gonna gently file the bottom of my bottle because it wasn't quite straight across the bottom and I wanted to make sure that it, it was really straight so that it looks like it could stand up if you you know, took it out of its little mid-air magic and then set it down like it's an actual bottle that can stand on its own. So you wanna make sure that's really nice and flat. So now with acrylic paint, I'm going to be painting the labels on the bottle. So. There's a lot more detail on these Hershey syrup bottle labels than what I painted. Simplify it. You could even simplify it more than I did. Um, so I started out with a red oval, pretty much as big as I could get it on the front of the bottle. And then I added a little stripe of red, now about a third of the way up. And then at just about the widest space in the oval, I'm going to be writing the word Hershey's with gray paint. This is very tiny and I'm sorry, I'm a little bit out of focus but it's very tiny to do. So like I said, you can simplify it even more if you want and do a gray stripe and a white stripe. I don't really, you know, do what you can. If you can't write this small, if your brushes just don't, just aren't quite little enough for that or what have you, you can always, you can always simplify it more. The appearance of the bottle pouring out is really the important thing with this design, not necessarily the little writing on the bottle itself because everyone is going to look at it and instantly know it's a chocolate sauce bottle. So then on the back of the bottle, I also made the back label because you can see this Hershey syrup bottle from 360 degrees on the nail, which I think is just awesome that you can make these little pieces that you can see from all sides like that. Then you do have to add a back label if you are putting one on the front, at least that's kind of my rule of thumb because it is 360. So I did the same red oval and then I put a white rectangle smack dab in the middle. And then with just kind of scribbly little lines, I put basically the rough shape of what a nutritional facts label is going to look like. So just kind of scribbly little lines and then a grid because that's basically basically what they look like. So then I'm going to take and I'm going to put some glue on the very end of my wire and then stick it in that hole that I made in the nail and hold it there until the wire is set hopefully or until the glue is set hopefully you're not going to be holding that too long and it'll hold itself up. And then on a nail form backing with some brown color gel. So this is a gel. There's so many different kinds of gel and you basically have to know what your own gel does. This is a gel that dries with no flex or cures with no flexibility. So you want to make sure that you're that because I know I've got some gel paint. So that's a, a different category. Again, I've got gel paint that cures with flexibility, which is definitely beneficial in other scenarios. But for this, you really need to make sure that you have one that's going to be um, very, very stable after it's cured. You're going to make six drips on your nail form backing. So just grab a little bit of gel on there and then just kind of stretch it up and get your drips. After those are cured, I'm going to be gluing three to each side. I'm going to find the two longest ones and those are going to be glued right on either side of where the bottle hole is in the nail. So as you can see, that's one of the longer ones and I'm going to glue another one of the shorter ones. So that first one that you glue that's in the same line with where the bottle is being attached to the nail straight down. And then the ones that are going that are on either side of it kind of angle them out from that first one, just so that it looks like it's gonna create a nice little circle of, of dripping chocolate sauce all the way around. So when you're doing this, just kind of angle them in a little sunburst. Yeah, kind of imagine like they're the rays of the sun coming out and the center of where that sauce goes in is where the center of the sun is. So then do that same thing on the other side, glue them in place. It is kind of a tedious process to glue these. I know that I was like, oh geez, I can't take this anymore when I was gluing them because I, I hate nail glue. And this design really includes quite a bit of it. And I was just like, I'm over this. So glue those in place. Be very careful with them before you get them a little bit more securely attached because when they're just being held on with the nail glue, just a little bump is going to make them pop off and then you're going to have to glue them again. Just be very careful with them at this particular stage. And then with the same brown color gel, I'm going to be covering up my little wire, the little wire that's going from the bottle to the nail. So just make sure that you don't actually see any of that silver wire anymore. You want it to just look like it's chocolate sauce. So cover that up and then create a little bit of a puddle around just the base of it, just to really secure the bottle to the nail. After that's cured, you can go ahead and you can create, I did this in two pieces or in two sections. I did one half, 
with the rest of the pouring out puddle and then I did the other half of the nail just because I didn't want to smudge one side while I was working on the other side before it got cured. So just do one side and kind of fan those drips out all the way covering up the rest of the nail, which is part of the fun. And I really wanted this nail to be clear because I didn't want there to be... I just wanted it to look like there was this bottle that was pouring in midair for absolutely, you know, just floating there, pouring, floating. I thought that would be pretty cool. So after I had that one side cured, now I'm going to go through and do the other side. If you would like to make those little drips that are off the nail a little more secure, you can fill in underneath, underneath them with either some clear builder gel or clear acrylic just to strengthen them some. Um, that's up to you. I didn't do that, but I also am not planning on wearing this. So I, not that anybody really would plan on wearing this because it's kind of a funky one, but you know, if you want to make sure it's going to be a little stronger, you may consider doing that. And then apply gel sealer over the top of all of that brown color gel. It's going to have a really tacky layer on it. At least mine does. So make sure you get that all covered up and then a uh, matte top coat over the top of your Hershey's syrup bottle. This is one of my absolute favorite nails that I have made so far this year. It is like, I just can't even, oh, I love it. I hope you guys like it as much as I do and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.